Hi, I'm Proto Jim, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeons. We are at week 114 now. I'm in a dilemma what to do. A lot of these trinkets are not that great, really. It'd be nice to do some of these bigger ones, but champion, like we saw last time, champion's just been whooping my anal. So I'm kind of uh, in dilemma for that. I have the ability I can get free food and stuff like that, free stuff, but I kind of feel like I need to do a big run for that. I mean, that's long. That's not a great, really, one I'm really. They're not trinkets I want. This is that be alright to get, but as we've proven, we get smashed. I'm wondering if I should try this with my four here. Maybe we should give that a go. Because all I've got to do is take a beating. Ain't I? That's pretty much all I have to do. So, it's a beast, I believe. So we can put that on there. Put in more beast. For more speed and damage, maybe. Less accuracy, but... Actually, we'll take that off. We'll try and give us something with accuracy in it. So this is accuracy, but this is minus there. That's minus accuracy. Meliac. Is that two different ones? That is accuracy as well. Put that on. Takes away that. More 15 resist, stun resist, but I don't need stun resist. The more HP will be good. I should take that off. And just put this on for damage and melee accuracy. Just to literally suck and smash. And then we can put beast on there. Maybe something with a bit more like melee accuracy, maybe. I don't know why melee accuracy doesn't really go on. That seems a bit crazy to me, but. Nothing really else there. We may have to change his abilities because actually we put them there. We'll have to change their abilities. Will he receive help? Maybe I'll keep him alive, maybe. Not too sure, or should we just go for pure damage? There's not much healing involved in this. I do kind of feel that's kind of bad. Range of damage. Melee and ranged. I don't think I have anything more. I mean, that could add for more ranged. But I will be doing quick my stress. I don't know. More range of skills. Did we lose? No, we didn't lose her boots. And healing, obviously, for the healing. We got that. She got breakthrough, which is what we need. I 
I don't think shout would work. Stickly, you don't need to worry about that. No point having point blank at the minute. We've got plenty of range attacks. Torch less stress, clears mark and stun. Maybe we should go for smoke screen. Maybe smoke screen might help a bit more with the uh, crow. Yep. If I do this, right? Because it's all free. Completely clear them out. Would I get that as money back? We'll see. So I do feel it's kind of a waste, the fact that... It resisted, damn it. That does not help me one bit. The dodge is a bit real there. Nice. Oh, we dodged that though. We get a little bit of a heal. Really, I need to do damage, but I need to keep him alive. Sedated. not help. The accuracy is getting low. If I need to keep myself teams topped up. Misses are not doing great. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Monstrous size has no intrinsic. So I was right, you just got to hold out, really. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Why don't I just continue? Where, where, where are we going? Got some trinkets back, nice. Some rank ups. Which is kind of what I was hoping for, really. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. And because of all that stuff, I managed to get some free stuff. I managed to get some of the things back that I wanted. So yeah. But my team has been devastated. 
Look at that. What? I'm wrong. No, it's not right. Minus accuracy, good play. From range, that's not too bad, really, is it? Because it doesn't have really range damage. Feel unholy, get rid of. Really? I mean, I think she got soft, which is not particularly what I would like. That's not bad to go, actually. I suppose to try and get your trinkets back, you just sit there and hold your... Uh, hold your grounds. And hopefully... No. I was hoping I'd get a level, level 3, but... Nope, sadly not. Anyway, I'm Prototype Jim. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye!